These are Maxim guitars um, developed uh, in the 1980s by a guy called Alan Marriott. I think these are prototypes and I've been handed these just to say a bit about them and uh, myself and a bunch of other guys are going to be doing some recordings with them so you'll get to hear what they sound like. Uh, for, but for this I just want to say a bit about what they are. Uh, we're a start you can see that they're headless guitars um, which interested me because being a left-handed player I'd already sort of concocted my own little sort of travel headless guitar so um uh, so that uh so that can always travel with me in a rucksack when i travel and not take it apart but uh, yeah so this interested me um on this guitar the tuning bridge is quite fiddly and difficult to use and i sort of constructed a key and everything to make it tunable it's always a bit difficult headless guitars they always have their issues with um tuning and designs um but this one I think it's quite exceptional. I've never seen anything like it before. To tune it, um, you tune it here with these on the top. And if I take off this panel, which is a fantastic, it feels really good taking this panel. It's really solid and secure. A brilliant design. I like that. And you can see on the back that you've got these uh, the tuners here. So clearly these are on rods or shafts that go all the way through the body and tune here. Um, and obviously there's a tremolo arm system too. Um, it's battery because it's active and access to this, but just look at the craftsmanship. I mean, it's just really elegantly made, really well made. Um, also, this one has a tremolo arm. Uh, interestingly, I thought that was on a like, cylinder, that, that the arm's just rotating the cylinder. And I was a bit worried because I thought that means it's probably stretching the strings here, but it isn't. When you drop the pitch here and you do it on the back, it drops here. And that's because uh, what the, the arm's doing is just moving that cylinder forwards and backwards slightly. I mean, the the design and the execution, the manufacturing of this, I, I love it. I, it all just feels so solid and secure. Um, yeah, so it's, a, I think, a very impressive piece of design. But this sort of tuning system on here um, works well. And uh, yeah, and it's this, uh, this has got EMG pickups, I think. Um, and I think it's an active circuitry. But yeah, it's very uh, striking design, I think. And there's this one here, which is a similar thing without the tremolo arm. Um, of the two, so this, this panel also removes. Again, love the design of this. You can see the system there, battery. Uh, again, oops, that's very, uh, it's fallen out, put it back. Um, so, but of the two, I think I prefer this one because I like this. The squareness of it is, to me, more of a statement of how different the guitar is. Um, and I like the look of it, like with these buttons. It, it feels like uh, something off a 1980s Doctor Who set. And like I say, if, if, uh, if the character dog Canine played guitar, then I think this would be the guitar that Canine would use. Um, uh, yeah, anyway, we'll, you'll get to see the recordings later on, but I just wanted to let you have a look at what the guitars are about. And uh, yeah, brilliant, I think. Thanks.